Hello guys, welcome to new video of Electrical Infinity. In this video, I am going to teach you APFC panel power circuit and explain it in detail. So, in APFC panel, we use capacitors. So, first of all, I am going to show you the standard sizes of capacitors. So, the standard sizes of capacitors are 5 kVAR, 10 kVAR, similarly 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50 kVAR and last is 100 kVAR but this 100 kVAR capacitor is very less available. So these are the standard sizes of capacitors. Now let's begin the APFC panel power circuit. The designing of APFC panel power circuit can be done in three steps. So let's begin these three steps. In the first step, you have to find the value of capacitors. Find the value of capacitors. Right? Let us suppose that we are taking a transformer of 1250 kVA. So we have to take 40% of it as a capacitor. So 40% of 1250 kVA will be 500. So 500 kVAR of capacitors are used, but there is a twist here. What it is? Let's see. So 30% of this 1250 kVA will be used as variable capacitor, and and 10% of 1250 is used as fixed capacitor. So what is the difference between 30% variable capacitor and 10% fixed capacitor is 10% fixed capacitor maintain power factor to unity when there is a no load whereas the 30% variable capacitor maintains power factor is equals to unity when there is a load. So this is the use of 30% variable capacitor and 10% fixed capacitor. So let's find the 30% of this 1250. The 30% of 1250 will be 375 kVAR. So 375 kVAR of capacitors are used whereas for 10% of 1250 is 125 kVAR. So 125 kVAR capacitors are used as fixed. Hence the first step is completed. Let us go to the second step. The second step is finding the value of circuit breakers for transformer. So as we are using 1250 kVA of transformer, so 1250 into 1 1.4 is equals to 1750. So therefore we are using 2000 ampere ACB. Hence the second step is completed which is finding circuit breaker for transformer. Let us go to the third step. The third step is finding the circuit breaker for APFC panel. So for finding the circuit breaker of APFC panel what you have to do is you have to take the value of capacitors 40% of this 1250 which is 500 kVAR. So 500 kVAR into 2. Why we are using this 2? This one is a thumb rule. Let us see this thumb rule. As we know that P is equals to root 3 Vi sin 90. So we get the value of I as I is equals to P by root 3 V sin 90. So substituting the value as I is equals to power as 1. So 1 into 1000 divided by root 3 into voltage is 440 440 into sin 90 so after substituting the value we get this value as 1.31 ampere so 1 kvar is equals to 2 ampere so this is the reason why we are taking here to so 500 kvar into 2 this give us the value as 1000 ampere right so we are using a 1000 ampere ACV so here you can see we have used a 1250 kVA transformer 40% of 1250 kVA is 500 kVA of capacitor so 30% variable capacitors are of 375 kVA and 10% fixed capacitor are 125 kVA 
The circuit breaker for transformer we are using is 2000 ampere ACB and circuit breaker for APFC we are using is 1000 ampere ACB. So let's draw this here. So here you can see we are using a transformer of 11 kV by 440. So 11 kV by 440 volts. 1250 kVA transformer. So for 1250 kVA transformer, we are using 2000 ampere ACB. So let's draw it here. 2000 ampere ACB. 2000 ampere ACB. Now we are taking the circuit breakers for APFC panel. So what we are doing here is we are taking a 1000 ampere, 2000 amperes. 2000 ampere ACBs here ACB right let us begin the designing of circuit breaker for APFC panel as you can see here we have got a 10% fixed capacitor and 30% fixed capacitor please note that for fixed capacitors you have to use only circuit breaker whereas for variable capacitor we have to use circuit breaker as well as CDC which means capacitor duty contactor right so let us first design the fixed capacitors so as you can see we have got a fixed capacitor as 125 kvar so here is the procedure for drawing it take one circuit breaker here and capacitors directly as we know that the capacitor value is 125 kvar so we have to use 250 kvar of capacitors here according to the standard sizes 250 kvar of capacitors right now what will be the value of circuit breaker here so we have to multiply this uh, capacitor value by 2 so 50 plus 50 we are using 100 kvar capacitor total so 100 into 2 so we are using a 200 ampere mccv here hence you can see we have only taken 100 kvr of capacitor the remaining capacitor value for fixed is 25 kvr so let us take one more 25 kvr capacitors circuit breaker here and a 25 kvr capacitor 25 kvr capacitor so what will be the value of this circuit breaker here so 25 into 2 we get 50 ampere mcv right designing of fixed capacitor is done so let us now do the designing of variable capacitors as you can see here the value of 30 percent variable capacitor is 375 kvr so you have to use circuit breaker as well as cdc for variable capacitors now let us take 250 kvr of capacitor we have to use circuit breaker as well as a cdc here plus capacitors so let us now take 250 kvr of capacitor 50 50 and we have to use a 200 ampere mccb here whereas the value of contactor will be same as that of capacitors value so we are using an 100 ampere contactor here right so 100 kvr capacitor 100 ampere contactor and 200 ampere circuit breaker right so you have to distribute these capacitors so on so that you get the value of variable capacitors as 375 kvr so let's do it so here you can see i have done the designing of variable capacitors 100 plus 100 plus 100 300 plus this 325 kvr of capacitor is equals to 75 so 300 plus 75 is equals to 375 kvr of variable capacitors so these are the variable capacitors of 375 kvar this is how the capacitor designing is done now let us do the connections of this capacitor to apfc relay so here you can see this one is an apfc relay and it has maximum terminal as 8 here for connecting capacitors or cdcs as you can see here and it has s1 and s2 which is connected to ct for measuring current to see whether it is lagging or not so ct is connected here and it is connected to s1 and s2 whereas here you can see the phase and neutral this one is an auxiliary supply so one of the phase is taken from here 
and is given here and a neutral is also given here and a 230 volts auxiliary supply is given to APFC relay through a single phase. So here you can see there are 8 terminals and CDCs are connected to these 8 terminals. As you can see here the fixed capacitor, the fixed capacitor is not connected to APFC relay whereas the variable capacitors are connected to APFC relay. So how you have to connect is from capacitor from CDC 1 you have to connect it to terminal 1 and this one should be connected to neutral right and from CDC 2 it is connected to second terminal of APFC relay from CDC 3 it is connected to third terminal of APFC relay and similarly to fourth terminal of APFC relay and so on if you have more CDCs you can connect here the more CDCs uh, the maximum amount of CDCs you can connect is 8 so we have to distribute this variable capacitor in such a way that we use maximum of 8 CDCs in this APFC panel second terminal of this is connected to neutral these all are shorted and is connected to neutral this is how the APFC panel power circuit is designed here you can see we have used a 1250 kV of transformer and we have done the circuit breaker calculation for that and we have got 2000 ampere ACB for 1250 kV transformer and after that we are using 2000 ampere ACBs for APFC panel. So here you can see why we are using here two ACBs. So these two ACBs remain in one panel and this ACB comes under this APFC panel right. So this is the reason why we are using two ACBs. After that here you can see we have distributed fixed capacitor and variable capacitors according to their values. So the value of fixed capacitor was 125 kVAR. So here you can see 50 plus 50, 100, 100 plus 25, 125 kVAR of capacitors are used for fixed and for selecting circuit breaker we have to multiply this total value by 250 plus 50, 100. So 100 into 2, 200 ampere. So we are taking 200 ampere MCCB whereas for 25 kVAR we have to multiply it by 2 again and we are using 50 ampere MCV here right for variable capacitor we have to use CDC as well as circuit breaker whereas for fixed capacitor we have used only circuit breaker we have not used CDC which means capacitor duty contactor so here you can see we have connected as circuit breaker CDC and capacitors so we have got the value of variable capacitor as 375 kVAR right so we are distributing this here in such a way that we use maximum of 8 CDC so that the 8 CDCs can be connected to APFC relay. If the CDCs are more which is 9 we cannot connect it to APFC relay. Right. So we have to distribute these capacitors in such a way that we get maximum of 8 CDCs. So we have got the value of variable capacitor as 375 kVR. So I have distributed here in such a way that 100 plus 100 plus 100 300 plus 75. So 375 kVR of capacitor is balanced using 1, 2, 3 and 4 CDCs. So the value of CDCs we are selecting is same as that of capacitor value. So 100 kVR capacitor we are using 100 ampere of CDCs. Whereas coming to circuit breaker we have to multiply it by 2 as I have shown here through a thumb rule. So 100 kVR into 2 we get a 200 ampere MCCB. Similarly 200 ampere MCCB, 100 ampere of CDC, 200 ampere MCCB and 100 ampere of CDC. So here you can see we are using a 75 kVR capacitor and for which we are using a 75 ampere CDC and 100 ampere MCCV similarly and from CDCs it is connected to APFC relay terminal and the second terminal of CDC is connected to neutral so this is how the APFC panel power circuit is done friend in the next video I am going to upload a video based on APFC panel control circuit so please like this video and share this video with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel electrical infinity thanks for watching bye bye